Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate exam for IT branch 2004. This one is from the topic of statistical time division. Let's first read the statement, then I'll explain its solution. So question reads, let us consider a statistical time division multiplexing of packets. The number of sources is 10. In a time unit, a source transmits a packet of 1000 bits. The number of sources sending data for the first 20 time units is. So you can have a look at this sequence. They are saying the output capacity of multiplexer is 5000 bits per time unit. Then the average number of backlogged packets per unit time during the given period is. Okay. So time division multiplexing can be of two types, synchronous or asynchronous. Asynchronous is also called statistical time division. The question belongs to the topic of asynchronous or statistical time division multiplexing. Let us see what is this. Suppose this is the mux. We have a channel and this is the dmux. And suppose we have five stations that want to send data. So in every frame there will be five slots. That means we are going to reserve some time for this station, some time for this station and so on. Every station has some time reserved for it. Okay. But a problem arises, if this station has no data to send, its slot will go wasted. We have reserved some time for this station, but it is not sending any data. That much time is wasted. So a slot will go empty on the channel. To solve this problem, we introduced statistical time division multiplexing. In statistical time division multiplexing, if you have five stations, you will reserve less than five slots. Okay. If you know on average, every time there is one station that does not want to send any data, you reserve only four slots. Okay. So this is statistical time division multiplexing. Now this is average number of stations that want to send data. That means there is a possibility only three stations might want to send data on some given time. So one slot will go wasted, but it's better than reserving five slots. In that case, two slots would go waste. Here we are wasting only one slot. But the problem is on some given point of time, all the stations might want to send data because this is the average. Okay. So what happens then? We have only four slots. Each and every station want to send data. What has to be done? In this case, use all the slots and the remaining stations will be adjusted in the next frame. That means you give chance to the four stations, use all the slots and the remaining station will be adjusted next time. It is a pos uh, possibility that next time only two stations might want to send data. So two plus one will be three. So we can adjust three stations next time. Okay. Still there will be wastage of one. Uh, now let us have a look at this question. They are saying in every time unit source transmits 1000 bits. That means data unit for sources 1000 bit. Okay. The source if it wants to send data, it will send 1000 bits. Similarly, if there is some source here, if it wants to send data, it will send exactly 1000 bits. Every source will send this much data only. Mux can transmit maximum of 5000 bits in one time unit. Okay. Now they are saying that this is the packet size. Packet size for source is 1000 bits. Okay. Mux can transmit five such packets. Okay. Have a look. What I'm trying to say is this is Mux. You have some 10 sources connected to it. Okay. They are saying in first time unit, six sources want to send data. So it will be a total of 6000 bits or six packets. So any of these six, maybe this one, this one, this one, and so on, any six sources 
want to send data mux can transfer only 5 packets because capacity of mux is the output capacity of mux is 5000 bits so 5000 divided by the packet size which is given as 1000 will be 5 that means we have reserved only 5 slots now in first time unit 6 sources want to send data we can send data of any 5 sources one source will be left adjust that source in next time unit see from here send data of any 5 sources what is the backlog it will be one that means one source is left that still wants to send data okay so what has happened till now any six of these 10 sources generated 1000 bits each so this mux now has 1000 bits okay it can transmit only 5000 bits that means five packets it has six packets five will be transmitted in the first time unit now backlog will be one packet okay it already has one packet from the previous uh, frame only okay and in next time unit nine sources will generate more data okay already it has one packet and plus nine packets from the current time unit total it will have 10 packets now total it has 10 packets that means 10,000 bits. It can transmit only 5,000 bits or 5 packets out of these 10 packets. What will be the backlog? It will be 5. Okay. Now currently from the second time slot or from the second time unit, it has 5 remaining packets that will be adjusted in the third one. Okay. And in third time slot, three more stations will generate data that means 3000 bits from the current time unit plus backlog of 5000 bits so it has three packets and this is five packets that means for this time unit for this time unit mux has a total of 8000 bits to send it can send only 5000 bits what will be the backlog 3000 bits okay so backlog here is 3. Now 7 plus 3 is 10. We want to send total of 10 packets. Only 5 packets can be sent. So 5 of them will be left. Now we want to send 7 packets. Only 5 of them can be sent. So 2 packets are left. This is 4. All 4 packets can be sent because capacity is of 5 packets. So the backlog is 0. Now there is no data in the MUX. Currently MUX has no backlog. And in next frame, two stations generate data. That is 2000 bits. And we can easily transmit up to 5000 bits. So 2000 can be just transmitted with zero backlog remaining. Here also zero. Here also zero. Now six packets are generated. One packet will be left. Okay, so backlog is one. This will be adjusted in the next frame. One packet, that means 1000 bits is already there with this mux one more station generates a data that will be additional thousand bits so two thousand bits are remaining and we can easily transmit it so backlog will be zero now i'm just completing this sequence now they were asking about the average number of backlogs see we have found out the backlog in every time unit. In first time unit, one packet is backlogged. Then five packets are backlogged. Okay. Just add all of these backlogs for the given 20 time units. You'll see the sum is 89. So total backlog for these 20 units, 20 units of time is 89. To average it out, just divide by the number of time units analyzed. So it is 89 by 20 that will be 4.4 .4 something okay so answer is option b which was 4.45 yeah so it is 4.45 to be exact okay